update on the deputy's condition. We do know that he went into surgery about 3.30 this afternoon. Earlier today, OHP told News 9 the deputy was stable after he was shot seven times. And tonight we're learning more about Braden Chester from those who lived right next to him. Neighbors today help provide some insight. Our News 9's Clayton Cummins spoke with them and joins us live with their story. Clayton. The 27 year old is a ex Marine. We've learned he's good friends with a man who's made headlines before for weapons charges. With guns drawn, law enforcement from around the state descended on the home of Braden Chesser, an ex Marine and gun enthusiast. He's the nicest guy. You know, we talk to him all the time. A neighbor nearby who wanted to remain anonymous tells News 9 gunshots from Chesser's home are heard at all hours of the day. Guns, a topic often discussed. He's got an arsenic full of them. We, we went in there one time. I mean, he's got like four safes. That's just full. Chester's home neighbors say also include a bunker on the property. I said, I want my husband to build us an underground bunker, you know, where we can get underground if something happens. And he said, uh, oh, no, don't you worry about that. He said, if anything happens, y'all just head up here to my place. He said, because I've got one out here. Chester, News 9 has learned, is in the midst of a divorce. According to court records, the couple has two young kids, a three and five year old. Chester's wife, who filed, citing incompatibility. I'm giving you guys another update on the Christopher Letter, Ledbetter in my situation. Chester is a good friend of Christopher Ledbetter of McLeod, also a former Marine and gun enthusiast. Ledbetter was sentenced to 57 months after pleading guilty to unlawfully possessing an automated machine gun. They're still high. Now, in multiple videos posted on Facebook, Chesser calls himself a patriot. Reporting live in Pottawatomie County, Clayton Cummins, Oklahoma Zone News 9.